Do you remember how much we loved the previous Volkswagen Touareg and remember how I said it looked a little bit old? Well, this is only the brand new Volkswagen Touareg. Normally within, you know, a couple of minutes of getting into a car, I'm... Take the exit to Sorry. To towards it thinks I can't get out of the... Uh... It thinks I can't get out of the picnic ground. So, back to the car. I've got the back completely stocked up with stuff. It's completely full. Camera gear and... Pickup in this car is extraordinary. I had a For 103 kilometers, continue straight on. Thank you. I had a quick look at the specs after I picked the car up. As I said, I wanted to be wowed. So it looks like it's worth around a hundred grand. It's got an eight thousand dollar driving package, which includes this massive screen for the center console and a single screen for the driver. It's also got a whole bunch of other safety stuff too. It's got active cruise control, an active lane control. The lane control was a bit obtrusive in town, but once I got out on the highway, it is just, I just about don't have to be here. There's a little bit of wind noise, just the faintest hint, and that the ride is supreme. It's telling me that I've got 960 kilometers range and that my average since start, I reset it just as I got onto the highway, is 7.5 litres per 100 kilometers for a car that is the size of a small office block. Things have come a long way, a long, long way since people started complaining about gas guzzling SUVs. Right, my... Frank Green has been filled with milk coffee. The nice girl even put the order form in on the screen. Some a Luddite and I don't understand screens. God, this dash is just amazing. Okie dokie. I've got my reverse cross traffic alert and my forward cross traffic alert telling me that I can go back, lovely. Reversing camera's got a massive picture and predictive lines. Honestly, it, I could just have gone to sleep in the back and let the car do the work for me. Merge onto Pacific Motorway. I will. She's very pushy, very pushy. It's one of the reasons that I don't like using Apple Maps is because it's really lippy. Anywho. acceleration in this thing is just extraordinary. Although there's roadworks and my arrival time has been pushed back just a little bit because uh, for 58 kilometers continue straight on. I will. She's gonna do that every five seconds. Just stopped to point Percy as is my want. Got my shoes a little bit damp, but I'm just sitting here with some calming bark in the background. This is possibly the most relaxing drive I've ever been on, bar none. There was a little bit of road work on the F3, or M1 as it is now, and that's absolutely typical. I'm still down for an arrival because it took two minutes to point Percy for 7.09 p.m. It's been almost three hours now and the fuel consumption has dropped to 6.3 litres per hundred kilometres and the range is still 980 kilometres. I've gone through, I don't know, maybe no, not quite a quarter of a tank. Oh, one thing I've done just in case I didn't tell you last time, is I've put the navigation on the driver's instruments. So I've got my music playing on the big screen so I can see what's happening there, select next music and so forth. 
I've also got the instructions up on the heads up display. This stupid woman in the dash doesn't know that there's a new road. She's really getting on my tits. So this highway has now made this trip one of the most boring in the country. I've been doing virtually 110 for four hours. I got bored, so I decided to test what happens when you leave your hands off the steering wheel. So I just loosely gripped it. First it gives a little beep, then a bigger beep, then a big beep and a big SOS on the screen. It jerks the steering wheel. <laughs> it's quite alarming. But I've also discovered, now that it's late in the afternoon, that there's a clever two-piece sun visor. So the first one comes down and that can swing over to the side. And then there's a little one above that with the vanity light on it that can swing down at the front. So you've got front and the side. Genius. Why doesn't everybody do that? The off-road stuff, obviously, I'm going to leave that off-road, but let me show you a little bit of film that I discovered that our friend at Volkswagen, Kurt McGuinness, shot. This is the new Touareg launch edition. These are mountain bikers and they ride mountain bikes. We're going to be racing off this mountain and down to the local vineyard. The loser will be buying afternoon tea. So this is the test to find out just how necessary the new Touareg is. Man and machine, me in the Touareg versus the Power Rangers and their tricycles. So without any further ado, ready, set, go. I might go to the blue first. No? Okay. I've got to say, these guys are actually pretty quick already, but not quick enough. Out of the way! Where did we find these guys? They're a little bit nuts. What's this? Looks like a shortcut. I was wondering when you two were going to get here. Don't worry, I've already bought myself afternoon tea. Do you want to go again? Go on, I'll give you a run up the hill. Ah, ah, ah. You're not getting in the car like that though. And of course, everything's tickety-boo. Until I hit Queensland. The second I hit Queensland, there's, I'm stuck in the most vicious traffic jam. Has been from kind of tweed from the border. I mean, no. I'm in the home stretch. I've got four kilometers to go before I get to my destination in Brisbane. I'll have traveled 908 kilometers. There's still 150 kilometers left in the tank, but it has gone off and told me to refill. The traffic has been vicious since I crossed the border into Queensland. It, it was just awful. I'm really tired and I just want to go to bed. It's only um, 4.30 in the afternoon, but I could use a bath, a glass of champagne and something to nibble on. I've got some nuts here that I'll have to do. Alright kids, talk soon. Oh god, Queensland drivers. I've forgotten how awful they are. See ya. Then it was time to do the whole thing in reverse. We stopped at the same picnic areas, the same rest stops, and the same food stops. It really was a brilliant, brilliant trip. 